Amen. It's biblical to look after your man of God. Amen. You know, in the, God has placed keys. Like He's placed the anointing on the inside of the man of God. Those keys for you and I that unlocks our blessing is inside the man of God. Amen. And when you honor the man of God by being a blessing to the man of God, by taking care of the man of God, you provoke God. You unlock those keys that's on the inside of you because that unlocks your blessing. He has the key that opens the door. Yes. Amen. Because how would you get into your house? You need a key to get into your house. Amen. 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 We believe in God for our houses. We believe in God for our cars. But the key is in the man of God. Is showing honor. Is respecting and is taking care of the man of God. I just want to give you a verse. In 1 Corinthians 9 11 says, If we also sow, have sown spiritual things among you, is it too much if we reap material things from you? Amen. Amen. Pastor sows into our lives. Yes. The word. Amen. He sows that encouragement into your and my life. And the word is reminding us today that just as he sows those things into our lives, we should sow into him. Yes. Not only by lip service. Amen. We like to say we love our pastor. Amen. We like to say we respect, we listen to our pastor. Amen. But you know, it's shown in your actions. Amen. 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 It's shown by what you do for the man of God. Amen. 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 He's like your parents. That's why the word says, honor the, your parents in the Lord. Amen. Just like you honor your physical parents, mm. you're meant to honor mm. your spiritual parents. Amen. 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 You're meant to take care of him. The word says in 1 Timothy 5, 17 says, let the elders who rule well be considered worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in preaching and teaching. You know, if pastor had a job, if pastor went to work and went to work what he studied, he would earn a certain amount of salary. And the qualification that he has will put him instead to earn probably over a hundred thousand rand. Now he tells us he's worthy of double honor. So if outside in the world they would pay him a hundred thousand, he should get double it. Amen. Amen. That's what the word is saying. He should be worth double honor. In actual fact, I think there's no number that you can put to what person has done in your life. How he has worked in life. You cannot add a value to that. That's how I feel. I don't know about you, but that's how I feel. So today I want to encourage each and every one of you to consider your pastor. Just like you look after your aunties and your parents and your family and your children. Think of the man of God Amen. that labors all the time in prayer for you. Amen. That labors all the time in the world preparing teachings Amen. so that we can walk out here blessed every Sunday, Amen. every Wednesday, every Friday, and every Saturday. We are encouraged. We walk out here a different way from when we came in. Yeah. We are touched, we are changed, our lives are changed, our mindsets are changed by the way he's teaching us because God is inspiring us. So when we do that, when we make that that conscious decision to do that, 
to take care of him. We make God to work. Amen. Because like Brother Constantine and Rock, like Pastor always teaches us, there's your part and there's God's part. Amen. It's like having God, having Jesus here in you. Each time you come here, you're encountering God. Amen. And if you're doing that, if God was here, you would bring your best gift. Amen. So we got to seek to give our pastor the best. So when he goes out into the world, when he goes on the radio, when he goes on TV, people will say, wow. I mean, people are already saying that. This man is blessed. And let us be the ones blessing him. Yes. Let it not only be coming from the UK, let it not only be coming from the USA, let it not only be coming from out of Cape Town, mm. let it come from this house. Amen. Because here yeah, we receive the word. Yes. Yes. Here we are the ones always getting the encouragement. Amen. If we find ourselves in challenges, we like to pick up our phone and say, Pastor, mm. Pastor, help me. <laughs> like Prophetess Jackie says, Pastor, Pastor, come faster. <laughs> Yeah. So just like we know to call Pastor, yeah. let us also know to honor him, yeah. to take care of him, yes. to yeah. give him something, yeah. put something in his hand. Yeah. Make, make that decision and you will see how God will bless you. Yeah. You will see how God will open doors for you. Yeah. Those things that you are desiring of God, like I say, is tied in this man. It's tied inside of him. And when we acknowledge that gift that we have in this house, we make God to work. Amen. Amen. We bring all those things to us that we desire. We are. Amen. 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 So I thank you and I hand over back to Boston. Amen. Amen. Amen.